Hey guys, your friendly neighborhood gamer man here. Thanks for joining me on my channel. Today we're gonna play through Knight Rider 2. I'm gonna show you all the buttons I was able to map. I'm gonna show you the mods I did to the Star Wars cabinet to make it the Star Knight Rider cabinet. And we'll uh, do some gameplay right after this. Okay, so the quick tour describing what everything is. I did a, a video, a build video, but I didn't actually talk about the parts. So uh, a lot of these are just arcade buttons and I I uh, connect them with um, using the power from the PC. I put a little device called a strobe where I think I used two of them to uh, have the light strobe in, um, you know, different timing. So this is an actual reproduction piece from Knight Rider for Kit. There's a guy out in Canada who makes these. So I purchased this one and I built a little harness for it, connected the electricity. Um, some more LEDs I added and I actually pull um, LED buttons and I actually pulled the screen out. This is also a repro kit light back here. So you can press them, but they're not functioning, just a decoration. This is, uh, as you all know, Kit. Say hi, Kit. And you can open the door. And it's got a little yoke inside here too. See that? Oh, there it is, look. These are the switches I was just talking about. And there's his yoke, a little different. And um, the kit monitors. Oh, let me show you the kit monitors. We have them right over here. I know it's silly, but I couldn't help myself. And we have a playlist, so a lot of different Knight Rider stuff will be going on while we play. Oh yeah, and I just installed this the other day. So we have a switch here. We'll turn it on and we have the kit scanner. Pretty good, huh, kit? Michael, we're losing power. All right. Let's get driving. So I actually got this game working on my racing rig, on my racing cabinet or whatever with the with the seated cabinet, maybe about six months ago. And um, it was pretty cool, but it was pretty hard to calibrate um, the wheel. And I used Joy to key to map it, and it took a pretty long time to do that as well. And I thought to myself, how cool would it be to have it on the Star Wars cab because you're playing with a yoke too, um, which Kit didn't have this exact yoke, but something similar. And it's also a different experience playing in front of a cabinet, sitting in front of an arcade rather than a seat with the television. And here it is. Oh, actually, I still need to do an intro video for uh, Big Box. options just want to show you guys this was a lot easier to do than with the g29 wheel and i don't know if it's because of um, the geek buy uh the geek pie um encoder here but it was basically almost plug and play you press whatever button you know you want for each control and it mapped it so i mean it doesn't get easier than that uh so i'll tell you to accelerate 
is this button three, brake reverse, button four, you know, steer left to the left, obviously, steer right to the right. Uh, turbo boost is the button on the yoke, the back button on the yoke, because that's the jump button, kind of use that a lot. Ski mode left um, is the big red button to the left, ski mode right, big red button to the right, and that's when the kid gets on his uh, two wheels. Um, Super Pursuit Mode is when uh, he transforms a little bit. I think he started doing that in Season 3. Season 3. In Season 4, he became uh, convertible. So Super Pursuit, Pursuit Mode, we press back on the yoke. Micro Jam is, I think, this one. This, the, uh, the green button, right? Because Micro Jam also acts as the scanner. So this button kind of looks like a scanner. So I mapped it here. Next target is this... Uh, I think this is the Mandalorian button or some Star Wars symbol. Sorry guys, I don't know my Star Wars as well as some people, but uh, yeah, it kind of looked like a target. So that's pick the next target. Next camera, it's not used much in previous cameras, so I mapped the start and coin button. Um, to use the weapon is uh, this orange button over here. So you do have to press it once to use your weapon, press it again to, uh... actually sorry, use weapon is down. That's right, so you're driving, you go press back for super suit mode, press, I, I, I uh, mapped it as press down to shoot your weapon. Um, R is a shield, pause escape, so I hit that, so I'm not gonna use laser, so you can pick the different weapons to use. So it's laser, plasma gun, and missiles, and then, right, this orange button is no weapon because you have to put it away after you use it. Or sometimes you'll just kind of set it off. And, that's a lot of buttons. On each level, you don't use every control. There's some levels that are specific for shooting and some for jumping or parts of levels. So um, it's a cool game. It's something really interesting, like a ride and shoot game. And um, yeah, let's get into it. Using. Well, kid, wasn't that an incredible yeah, and unfortunately, you can see that white bar from that angle um, because it's a Windows game, a PC game, a Windows PC. So if anybody knows how to get rid of that white bar, please let me know. Um, I couldn't figure it out. I don't know if there is a way. When I'm sitting here, you can't see it because of the bezel. For those of you who played, like, who tried PlayStation games or different... Um, PC games with like random wheels that were meant for keyboards or joysticks, you know how bad some of them can be. And look at that. I mean, it feels like it was made for this. If I purchased the Knight Rider cap with this yoke and it had this response, I would think it was just created like that and tested and it was perfect. Sorry kid. stayed straight, I mean, it would probably like, give me more energy. I played it on harder levels and I got beat up pretty quick. I think they're all missing me anyway. But how cool is that? I mean, yeah, there it is. That's Kit. It's especially a nice change if you're playing um, Daytona and just games like that where you're going in circles. Okay, watch this. Whoa! I pressed the wrong button. You know why I thought this was this button? Because I was smacking it playing a different game, um, Turbo Outrun. It's this button on my wheel. You see that? There we go. Nobody's perfect. Except for you, kid. 
After all, we're only human. There we go. This is a big jump. See, my jump was a little off. He did a little pop of wheelie. that a little off. Sometimes I play it can get it really smooth. Michael, we should use one of our weapons to clear these obstacles. Alright now I'm gonna be pressing down on the yoke. That's the laser. I can turn it off, turn it back on. Or you can just keep it on, but you gotta be quick. On my driving cab, it was much more difficult to do this. So, you get stuck for a second, and those missiles get you, and then game over. So this one's close. I just press the button to turn off the laser, or I would just keep hitting it by mistake. Kind of didn't have the button in the best place. I only tried mapping it that one time, so as I play, I'll figure it out a little better. Maybe I'll remap. Told you guys about before. Watch this. Oh, it's too close. I was trying to be fancy and use the right ski mode. It doesn't matter, you can just keep it on left. As long as he's up like that, it'll squeeze through. Anyway. Exact location. Well, kid, you heard the lady. We've got some work to do. Ready to hit the road? Of course, Michael. Michael, please be careful. We don't. Right, let me show you guys. Super pursuit mode. You gotta press the gas, huh? I'm gonna skip these. See that transformation? I can keep it straight today. We get 300 miles an hour. I kind of use it a lot on this level because you got to go back and forth. Maybe super pursuit mode would be easier pressing forward. You have a little more control. And maybe laser pressing back. So I might switch that. So now I press my scanner button. Scan that. One of the buttons was shield too. I've never had to use Data a shield. Data retrieved from this terminal tells me that there are three other terminals connected to this gate. We 
have to find them in order to open this gate. So what are we waiting for? Let's step. See, and even with this, um, you know, little button on the uh, yoke with its little spring, you can, it has a little range of motion. You can put more pressure on it and give it more gas and take some off. See, I'm not off all the way. It'll, it'll accelerate and decelerate. Not as good as a gas pedal or an accelerator pedal, of course, but something. It's not like a arcade button. So it's a lot better than that. Scanner, yeah, I remembered when it was here. So let's scan that. I call it a scanner. Michael, that gate is now closing rapidly. We have to hurry. Okay. Super pursuit mode doesn't work due to the damage. I know. What are those things? Robots? That seems to be the case, Michael, and they are heavily armed, too. They're coming this way! That hurts. Well done! Use one of our weapons to clear these obstacles. 
All right, now I'm gonna be pressing down on the yoke. That's the laser. I can turn it off, turn it back on, or you can just keep it on, but you gotta be quick. On my driving cab, it was much more difficult to do this. You get stuck for a second, and those missiles get you, and then game over. Well, this one's close. I just press the button to turn off the laser, or I would just keep hitting it by mistake. Kind of didn't have the button in the best place. I only tried mapping it that one time, so as I play, I'll figure it out a little better. Maybe I'll remap. So this is a big box front end, actually created by B Kong, but updated by me. And I added my Knight Rider. I'm gonna make it clear that this is the PC version, not the PlayStation 2. I just like the PlayStation 2 artwork. And I just click on it and it loads up as a PC game. The PlayStation 2 may not have this annoying bar there, actually it won't, but I couldn't get it to load. I'm gonna mess with it again, and it's a little harder to map. But yeah, if you wanna learn a little more about Big Box, you have any questions, you can ask me, or there's a lot of tutorials with people who can use it a lot better than I can. So I added the intro video. Thank you. 